Guys, um, I just wanted to talk to you guys about something. Um, this is this is a call out on two people that just really kind of bugs me recently. Um, not specific people. I'm not going to call it specific people, but there are uh, several, and I'm seeing more and more YouTubers do this, um, and others that are saying uh, basically their claim is that. Uh, you should take more from like baked beans and you know baked beans type projects uh, at the beginning of the project as it's sloping up and then as it slopes down then take less I mean I I don't know and I've seen all the numbers I've seen all the people say it and I you know I, I don't know it just has really bugged me recently and what it I don't know I don't get it I don't understand why they're doing it well I do um, you know they want to be right they want to um, you know be providing the advice to people and stuff like that and showing numbers and and numbers are good you know it's all about making money yes but you know if you kill a project you know within a few months when it could last you know six months a year two years you're kind of shooting yourself in the foot you're taking short-term gains in exchange for killing something faster um, you know when <laughs> When something has the potential to go up to a certain point, but your greed drives that potential down, you're killing a project sooner. You have to realize that these minor dApps are built on very similar principles to ROI dApps, where you know there there are some instances where some and it's actually a very small amount right now. Uh, funds coming into the contract are from other revenue sources and it's very little right now compared to uh, the the deposits from the actual users so that is kind of inconsequential right now is the input from other investments you know until somebody brings something out that's you know has a, a good revenue uh, source coming in besides the deposits of other users I assume everything is is paid by the deposits of other users so when you're built upon those principles and you're taking more at the front of the contract you are draining that contract faster so when you come on the other side of the of the peak it drives that down into the ground much sooner um, when you're taking you know 50 percent of your profits up front instead of 10 percent of your profits up front you're going to exponentially reduce the the length the project is going to last um you're i don't know i just don't i just don't can't fathom why somebody would you know take so much you know i want you know two weeks of big gains and throw away you know six months to a year of consistent uh, moderate gains in exchange for that it just boggles my mind that people are doing that and, it, and actually going on YouTube and saying to do that. Um, they're like, yeah, well, in long term, you make more. It's like, well, a lot of your models, they stop before the contract even runs out. So you don't even know how long it could last anyway. And, you know, even if that is the case that you could make a bit more, is it worth it? I mean, are you going to like, you know, after you 10x your money, are you you know going to take 20x be, so the next guy gets nothing? I mean, I, I just don't understand the idea that people are so greedy that they're willing to throw away, um, you know, profit for everybody. Everybody gets to make money for the greed of a week or two. Um, you know, I don't know, whatever. Maybe it's just I'm not not that kind of guy. I don't know, whatever. Um, so let's talk about this. This is Baked Beans contract. It's still heading up. You know, hopefully it's not flattening out right here. Um, it has slowed a little bit here, the, the income, but um, we can see that the, these black lines are the pods coming in. Those are still outpacing the blue ones, which is the money going out. And that's the problem is, you know, if our level is coming down here and it's gonna come down here more, this is not the time to take more profit, guys. It's not, you shouldn't be taking that blue, you should be flattening out that blue line and keeping that black line up there um, <laughs> so I don't know anybody that's saying do two to one or three to one right now are you're killing the project guys you like I don't know first you're saying you love baked beans and it's great but you're taking profit from others 
and you're killing the project sooner. Like, I, I don't know how else to say this. You don't treat one of these like an ROI DAP. That's, you know, they're built on similar principles, but the idea of recompounding and also promoting the project to get new, invest, re, re, uh, new investment is far more important than you taking out money, you know, on a more regular basis. You know, you don't have to be greedy about this, guys. Uh, the more that we can recompound, you know, bring new investment in, um, is is better for everybody. You know, in the long term, I was like, well, we made this model, and it assumes that our, our new investment's going to go down, and blah blah blah. Well, that you're assuming a lot of things, but you don't know what the future is. And as if it, if a community can, you know, make something this big, the same community can, you know, reach out and get more investment and stretch out even further. Um, but what people are doing is they're becoming greedy and listening to these guys that say, take more profit in the beginning because my model shows you're gonna make more money. <laughs> well, guess what guys, these things, you know, we, if we look at uh, BNB Miner, we saw that yes, it went up, got to a point and sloped down. Well, I wanna show you what greed looks like. I wanna show you how fast that these things can crash and burn, even if, you know, the one that it came from, um, you know, BNB Miner is still around. Let's go ahead and look at Spooked Beans. You know, is this thing even a week old? I don't, I don't think it is. But let's look at the contract. Opens on the twelfth, and it gets a huge investment. And within two days, the amount going out is greater than the amount coming in. And it keeps going down that amount coming in. And then pretty soon all this thing is doing is paying out. And it cannot sustain that. It has to have new investment. And if there's not new investment and people keep taking profits, it's gonna go down and it's gonna keep going down. You know, it's got a 461,000 FTM balance but it's been going down pretty rapidly. I mean, seven, uh, 66,000, almost 67,000 came out today because people are not recombounding, they're just taking. And this is a just a pretty much a baked beans clone. Uh, this is spooky beans. You know, it's going a little bit longer. It had some days of growth that peaked here and it's, you know, that new investments tapering off. And then, you know, within, you know, it's got a week in and the amount going out is greater than what's coming in. That's within a week. So according to you guys' you know, model is you should take profit in these six days and you're not gonna get your investment back in those six days. Um, that's guaranteed unless you have a bunch of referrals. Um, and then the contract's gonna go down and you're gonna make less. You know, this is basically baked beans on a very short and um, condensed time frame. Uh, you have to realize that taking all this money here is going to make this date come a whole lot, whole lot shorter, a whole lot sooner um, when it gets down to zero. Let's look at uh, which one? Oh, yeah, this is Lucky Lucky Cat. Same um, same kind of story here, guys. This one is actually just direct baked beans clone. It had a high balance on the twelfth. Uh, 948 BNB it's already heading down 713 BNB um, what keeps these things going up is two things reinvesting which is compounding and reinvesting more money if you've got their opportunity and community a community that's reaching out that's shilling projects that's like you know making this thing move those are the two things that keep these things alive. If you jump on one of those two things, like um, if you stop promoting it, you know, if there's no more, no more marketing going on or anything, it's gonna severely hurt the project. And that second thing is if you're not compounding, you're gonna severely hurt the project. Uh, as soon as we see the, um, if more people take, uh, profits sooner the sooner the top of that peak happens the sooner the top of the peak of the balance we get to the top and it starts coming down 
if people keep taking more and more and more, that peak is going to hit sooner. Um, I don't know. I, I don't know how else to say this, but these guys are wrong. Like, I don't know what numbers, I don't care what numbers they throw at us, but if I'm in baked beans right now and I'm looking at the future, making, you know, money, you know, three, four, five months from now, it's insane to take a bunch of profit right now uh, as it's going up because you're killing your potential profit in the future. One, you're gonna have less beans when, um, when that, when it starts going down, you're gonna get less profit over time because you don't have as many beans because you didn't compound earlier. Um, and two, you're gonna shorten the lifespan of the project. I mean, that's just all there is to it. Uh, you know, if, if you take out money now, you're taking money out of the balance and that money's not gonna go back in unless you put it back in. Like there, there's no guarantee that somebody else out there is gonna replace that. So you have to understand that when you take money out, it's unless you put it back in, it's gone. It's not going back in the contract. That contract is not gonna see that anymore. There's no revenue that's gonna generate that. Um, and you cannot count on another investor jumping in and replacing that. So I don't know. Yes, maybe you might make, you know, 20% more you know, at some point, but you're, you're killing the project for everybody else. If you do it like, yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know. I've been in the ROI DAP space for, you know, months now and now in the minor space and watching this is like, people are just trading these things like ROI DAPs. Um, they're just trying to get out as much as they can, as quickly as they can and try and justify their reasoning any way they can. So anyway, guys, I didn't really want to do an update until tomorrow on my regular day of baked beans but you know it i don't know i see even big youtubers are starting to say that that you know the best time to take profit is right now um you know shorten up don't compound as much um you know i'm seeing this stuff and it's just i don't know it's driving me insane that they're like everybody wants to hit the peak sooner i don't know i guess that's what they're thinking i don't know i'd rather see it just keep going up and up and up and take profit at a normal pace than just crash it into the dirt as soon as we can. I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know if they want it to go faster to the peak or not, but anyway, guys, that's, that's just kind of what's on my mind. Um, yeah. Anyway, go ahead and tell me what you think in the comments below. Uh, I, I don't know. I've been a kind of a shill for baked beans for a while. I'm also critical of anything that's going, going on. Um, you know, that might be off. Uh, so yeah, anyway, that's just my thoughts right now. Uh, go ahead and tell me what you think in the comments below and uh, like the video if you like it, subscribe if you wanna subscribe and we'll catch you on the next one.